Hello. Is that working? Is that better? Oops. Um, I I purposely pressed unmute on the on OBS, but apparently not on my on my box. Anyway, let's start that again. How's it going, guys? It's Thomas on Planet Tech. Welcome back to another stream. This is the Road to Reading Brick Show, episode two or part two. And uh, yeah, Reading is 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 about a week and a half away, which is kind of crazy. Uh, but looking forward to it. I'm feeling the most prepared I've felt for ever for any show ever, which is quite something. Uh, we can hear you now. Good, good, good. Okay, good, good, good stuff. Um, I guess it's sign language, lol. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so today, uh, there's two things I kind of want to get done. One, the priority is getting the Beggar's Canyon section uh, all tiled off and set up. Um, and then getting some, um, yeah, and then maybe trying to get the M1 actually attached. Um, I actually can show you the N1 in a little bit because it looks very, very good. I haven't sprayed it or anything yet. I've just built it. Um, but yeah, the concentration is going to be on getting the Beggar's Canyon section set, uh, sorted. And then uh, if we've got a bit, a bit of time after, I'm hoping we might be able to wire up the lights for Jewel of the Fates. Um, we can show you and get that stuff done. Um, but before we get started and before I show you guys the N1, I will check in with everyone in chat. So hey Gaz, hey Mark, good to see you. Um, oh, it's a shame you can't come to Red and British show, okay? KO. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Um... You will be missed. We have Scott here and TJ. Hello, guys. How are you doing? Uh, and we got Sammy Sausage. What's up, Sammy? How you doing? Yeah, Scott, good to see you. Okay, awesome. Yeah, if you could like the stream, guys, that'd be muchly appreciated. Um, but yes, okay, so should we show you the M1 first? So uh, I started building this on a member stream on Saturday. It kind of got, it got quite late. Um, and I can't remember if I had, had dinner or not, or, or if I wanted to, to, to go and eat, but, uh, yeah, it got quite late. I didn't quite get it all built. I got about halfway through, um, and all of Saturday evening, like after the stream and then all, like I was up quite late on Saturday night. I was just like, I really, I was, I loved the build process of it so much. Hey Simon, how you doing? I loved the build process so much. I was just like, I'm going to have to finish this, this. Um, and I, and I almost streamed like before Mark did on Sunday and I was like, oh, I didn't, didn't quite get around to it. Uh, so I just sat and built it while I was watching Mark and while I was watching, uh, Greg, I think Greg streamed a little bit on Sunday as well. Uh, and yeah, I just had the most amazing time building it. It's honestly so, so cool. I haven't got the cockpit pieces on there yet just because I don't want them to, I really don't want them to get like scratched up or anything. Um, and obviously I'm not going to paint them anyway. So, but yeah, I can show you the M1. It looks phenomenal. Um, here it, oh God. Here it is. The model is just so clean. The way it comes together is fantastic. There are some awesome, awesome build techniques on this thing. Um, if anyone is looking for an N1 model, then this is honestly the one for me. Uh, that I would recommend uh, a lot of them don't have so you can see if you look head on there you can see there's a very very subtle like downwards angle on either side of there which the N1 has that most of the mocks that I've seen uh, they they just haven't included it they've just made it flat because it is very gradual it is very slight um, but it just looks so much better for having that little angle uh, just pop, pop it in the glass or something Thanks. Um, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, it just looks phenomenal. The engines look great. Um, but yeah, I just I just love it so much. And then uh, there's this whole back section. Yeah, uh, guys, I managed to just about get it sorted. Although I think I've cut the flex tubes a little bit too small. So this was stupid to me. So I was like trying to work out. So they send you one, I think it's like a 29 stud long uh, Technic, um, oh, sorry, uh, flex tube. Thank you. And I where's the first one i can't even remember where the first one goes i can't oh the first one goes like here all right so i'll take off the stand for a second oh god uh so the first one goes here you put you put these clips you attach these clips to it um what i kind of failed to realize and what i kind of ignored was the uh the the first thing that it says in the instructions like on the first page I kind of just like skip past it and brush past it, but it actually tells you the length that the, the flex tube needs to be cut to. Um, so I kind of guesstimated this one 
and then I, I made it longer and I was like, no, I need to cut it down some more. So I cut it down some more and I took a little bit too much off. Um, but I've got another flex tube, uh, so I, could, I can replace that um, anyway. So that's that's not going to be too much of a problem anyway. But yeah, this thing is really freaking cool. I really, I actually really like it in grey, I'll be honest. Um, I'm still definitely going to try and do the chrome on the front. I'm kind of half tempted maybe to leave the back grey now. I'm like, uh, it. I think it depends how close of a match I can get the spray paint to look like the drum lacquered paint that, uh, or the drum lacquered finish that Lego has. If I can get a close enough finish, then I might give it a go. The other thing I don't know what to do is like, do I spray each individual piece? Do I try spray it as one? Because I don't want it. If I spray it as one, I'm worried that it might not you might not be able to tell like each different piece so i'm a bit 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 conscious about that but um my paint kits and stuff are all coming on uh on but well, by the weekend so on saturday uh saturday will be will be the job to like do the test uh do the test sprays and then maybe on uh sunday evening or, or one night next week i can uh i can just finish the finish the spray on the front and stuff but yeah, this is the M1. Edge of Bricks does done a fantastic job of this. Uh, and I think it cost me... Bearing in mind I had maybe like 25, 20%, 25% of the parts. Uh, and they weren't like crazy expensive parts or anything. Uh, I think it cost me about £60. And they're all new pieces as well. Um, so it's super... Like bearing in mind the Lego set is is 60 i imagine it probably is about 75 ish with uh with those other pieces i would have i would have estimated i think it's a no-brainer like let's be honest we've all got a mando figure at this point um the only but the only bus is obviously pelimoto but she's like reasonably uh reasonably affordable but yeah i'm big fan of this model it's really really cool um and yeah and i i thought i didn't i thought i opted for the passes without the stand but apparently i didn't uh but it's but it's cool uh the stand the stand does does serve a good purpose so i just set that down um <clears throat> let's check in with checks i feel like there's some more people jumped in so if like simon jumped in we've got ian as well good to see you guys if you do lots of very thin coats then you should still be able to see the outline of each brick but probably best to give it a try first yeah like i said i'm gonna do all my test printing on saturday um once all the all the things are here um i got some like uh some scrap stuff from work today so i'm gonna build a little box um one night this week just so i can do my spray painting on um all the spray paint stuff has been oh everything's been ordered except the 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 actual paint i've got, got all of that from a different website so i'm gonna do that tonight um is that going to fit in the canyon? God, I hope so, Sam. <laughs> God, I hope so. Um, I'm hoping it should do, because it'll be on a grey base plate. And, yeah, it'll be fine. Wait, have I got a grey base plate here? That would be... That would be my next thing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, if it sticks off the front a little bit, I'm not massively worried. But that should that that will be fine. Okay, so first things first. Might be an idea to test that. Yeah, you you're right, Sam. You're right. Okay. Yeah. E, uh, you must have a a hammer, right? <laughs> a few knocks. <laughs> a little definitely can. Yes, definitely, definitely, definitely fit the can that way. Um. I to, so I left a Coke in the freezer last night and it blew the bottom out, but it didn't actually explode. Um, and I really don't like drinking Coke from a glass, but I asked Paige for a glass. And rather than pouring it in the glass, I just drink it like that. Genius. 200 IQ move, that one. Watch me knock it over this stream. Bet. Exclamation point, bet. Right. <clears throat> so the first thing I need to do is create two base plates worth of uh, sand. Let me switch the old camera over. Okay. 
so I'm not gonna go with so if you as you guys as you guys might know, uh, those of you who have seen it, um, me and Sam went a little bit uh, a little bit. Uh, we, we put like a little bit more thought into the the whole border that we did on the pod race. I'm not going to do that with this one just because it's kind of like kind of a, a semi-temporary thing. Um, but I do have... I am still going to make it like flat packable. That's still the plan. One second, let me just close the door. Uh, yeah, I still want to make it flat packable. Hey, Joel, how you doing, mate? Uh, the border was the only thing that successfully made it to it. Honestly, it was, yeah. Um, but I have... I still have tons of these tan bricks. So I'm hoping... I was thinking, same same with what we did in creating like little walls. I'll just lay some of these out. Three along there. I can make two separate ones. And I'm literally just gonna line it with these. Like I said, it's not gonna be anything crazy. Yeah, right, thanks, just chilling. Good stuff, good stuff. But yeah, so I think, I think that's, that's all I'm really going to do with the border. Like I said, I really, I'm really not trying to do anything too crazy. One thing that will be a pain is that a multiple of four is. Okay. Have I got two by fives? So what I'll do to offset it, I've got some two by four bricks here. So if I offset that by two, And I'm literally just going to do it one high. It really doesn't need to be very high at all. And then that will just cover the... That will be right in the corner. It will be right down the side. And then this will lap. And then I'll just need some... I'll probably put one layer... In fact, yeah, I'll probably put a layer of that on top. And then I'll probably put a... Um, the uh, the tiles on there as well, the, the jumper tiles. Oops. Back to mosaic design. What mosaic are you doing, Kay? I've got some parts for a mosaic coming tomorrow, which I'm really excited to start doing again. Cool, Penelope is upset today. <laughs> is that a layer or a layer? <laughs> very good, very good. <laughs> um, we've had official images, and there's, there's, there's. I feel like there's actually a bit of Star Wars stuff to talk about today. Um, What's the odds of me being able to find some of those panel pieces that I had? One second. Oh, come on. Oh, maybe not. Hmm, one second. No luck. Um. Okay, 
I can return back. I can go back to that roof. That should I had tons of them still. I thought. Okay. Anyway, not a problem for right now. I can just go back. Just because it will make this that little bit a little bit more sturdy. I might have enough of these actually, just to put these behind, at least for now. Just on these joints. <clears throat> okay. Oops. No, that's right. That wants to be on there. That wants to be on there. There we go. Oops. Cool, that's better. Yeah, already that's like so much so much stronger. God, I feel like brick science. Um My power order arrived today, another max quantity of black cylinders plus some other parts. Also got micro ninjago docks with that order. Yeah, I've got I made two separate PAB orders. Um I've got I, I maxed out like three colors of mosaic tiles, I think. Everyone start saving your waterstone vouchers, yeah. So mosaic of a certain Pokemon on trading card game art on so that's cool, okay. I like that. That's different. Okay, first one down. <clears throat> How many orcas? Actually, no orcas. Thomas, you broke my heart on your Insta story about that. Oh, no. Are you a big fan of it, Scott? I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. <clears throat> I just, yeah, I'm just like... I mean, I've, I've, I've said my opinion on the... On the... Uh, on the whole, like, Overside star, Starfighter thing. I'm just, like, really not keen for it. Said the Arc 170 will be the one that I get, but after that, I've just there's just nothing that interests me that's like massively overscale. Um, yeah, I don't know. It'll be all made up though, because the sale bars will be worth it, I'm sure. <laughs> Blasphemy. <laughs> oh, I have a Disney theme mosaic on the go. Nice, Simon. Nice. Which one's that? Wait, Simon, are you are you mocking? I said I thought you said at Bricktastic you hadn't done much mocking. Is this your like first foray into it? Or have I have I maybe no, I must have made that up. Surely you I feel like you have. I thought I asked you about displaying next year and you said that you hadn't really done much mocking. Maybe but maybe you've been doing it on the sly. Yeah, that, that Lego Star Wars book is kinda crazy. Um I personally don't want it. I will say um, that there looks like there's some cool stuff in there, like some unreleased sets and things like that, which is which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, I don't want it. Um, and I know that within a week of it coming out, there will be a review that shows literally every page of it. Um, so that I can hard pass on. Um, yeah, just like completely unbothered. Right, so I need to be careful with these because two, so these two, these two are right along the front. I, I can make two for the back, can't I? Yeah, I've got enough. The back doesn't need to be tan, but. Oh, I do have those yellow ones. You'll be alright. Oh, they really don't need... Uh, I don't need them at the back yet. I will leave the ones at the back for now. So I need to make two for the sides. Oh, that's perfect. Because that's going to be four bricks tall then. So then when I do my supports in the middle, that's going to be exactly four bricks. I've got the three there and then two plates and then there'll be a jumper tile row on top. Okay, cool. So now I just need to make one that's shorter. So hopefully I've got a plate. I 
I start loads of two by plate in tan. Where did they all go then? I should have enough of these to do the two sides. Perfect. <clears throat> okay. So let's set this up. Hopefully. Yeah, that still works with the. So that joins those. Don't need one on the corner because that will be at the back. So that's fine. then that's offset those all enough that these are join perfect okay but yeah that book i'm just like there's got some cool stuff in it but i'll just watch i'll just watch a review if i'm if i'm that bothered or i'm sure things will just get shared on on instagram pretty quickly but yeah no orcas actually sam i was i was i was very ashamed i do have to uh i do have still like four ninjago promos plus all the other ones to get at some point so i will make an order of some orcas But, so you're not realizing a no, so you're not releasing a no holds bed, tell a war's power free on your experience doing a lab with tech, Sam. <laughs> He's not brave enough to release that. <laughs> yeah, so I can't wait for someone else to spend money on it so I can look at the pictures. Exactly. Cool. One of those, and one of these. Cool. Glue or something. Oops. Okay. Okay. So that's down one side. Let's make a mirror of this. Um. I have a couple of issues with it, but overall, I love it. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, it, don't get me wrong. It looks great. It does look great, <laughs> but honestly, who cares? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's just, I, I think they smashed it with the playset, um, tie intercept of it, uh, last year. Like, I think that set is like pretty much like it's, it's pretty good for minifig scale. Um, it's pretty, in fact, it's pretty much bang on perfect for minifig scale. Um, yeah, it's just really, really nice model. Um, and that, that intercept is going to take up so much room. <laughs> Maybe we'll be able to get it for a steal off of whatnot. Whatnot. <laughs> uh, Sam's been banned off of, of whatnot. Simon, mean, I wouldn't be shocked if he did. Seems like the time. <laughs> type of that he would throw money. He really wants it. Oh, that's wrong. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, Rosie really wants the uh, the book. Hundred and forty quid though. Hundred and thirty quid or whatever it is. No, thank you. Not for me. I don't read. Do I look like I read? Like I said, it'd be great for the first, like, the first 10 minutes, and then it's like, okay, well. I kind of feel the same with the visual di dictionary, but at least that you get a minifigure in it. It's like, once it, it's like, I think, like, Ryan re reviewed that, 
that book this week and it's like a 40 minute video so i'm assuming like at that point he has shown literally every page of it which is fair enough it's a review um but it's like ugh. but it, yeah i'm gonna have to i still want to get that because i want the the more figure okay so we got our sides we've still got how many does one of these take? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Have I got more than twenty-six there? Yeah. We'll do the back ten as well. <clears throat> oh wait then. Oh hang on, I can if I take. Oh, I build that. It's silly. Let me take all of this off. Now, if I take that off and that off, then I only need the two by six ones, and then I can just put a copy of the first one. Hey, Jake. Technically, reads re books he's read before, literally. Not even, I'll be honest, not even. Oh, no, it doesn't work with the. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to keep that the way it was and I'll just make the back one smaller bars to it how you doing Jake it's like 10% of a Rosie mark honestly poor Rosie not even here to defend himself Oh my god, Ian. He'll be ripping out pages and selling them individually. <laughs> not wrong. Honestly. Honestly, not wrong. Okay. Okay, so. Let's like this out. But that's down one side. No, that's. Yeah, that goes there. That one goes here. So I need one, another one like this. To be a shorter one. Okay, that's fine. They're the two front ones. Cool. <clears throat> if I do it like that, actually. Then that's covered. Cool. Sweet. Happy days. Okay. Right. <clears throat> that get you 300k cheese wedges to fill a base plate. Wait, what? So why is that not working? Oh, because so I have to start that with the offset. Oh. <laughs> that wasn't in the bag. I'm good, not much going on at work at the moment. Excited for the tie-in scepter. Interesting. Yeah, I was just saying how I'm not really. Um, but it's good because it's a set that I now don't have to buy. And that's great. Um, my... My May 4th haul is already going to be a little, uh, a little bit, uh, actually, actually it's not to be fair. I think I'm going to get the Sith, in well, I'm going to get the Sith Infiltrator, the Invisible Hand, the, what else was going to get? Probably the Brickheads and the Droid Decur. Um, and I'm going to get them from Lego. I'm going to get the promo. I'll probably sell the promo next time I go to a show. Just because I really don't care for it. Or maybe I'll keep hold of it and, and sit on it for a while. Because there's going to be so many people selling it straight away. Um, the fact that it's a 25th anniversary one. Maybe in 10 years might be worth a little bit more. But I mean there's nothing really exclusive in it. Which is a shame. 
I'm still livid we haven't got a uh, a Phantom Menace brick. The Phantom Menace logo, like anniversary logo, is literally at the top of the box. Like, it's so annoying. It's so annoying. And the promo is one boss. In it. Yeah, or like throw in like a decent figure. Like. But the, yeah, it's not even like. I've seen people being like, oh yeah, release it as a set. Like, release it as a set after. It's a terrible, it's a good looking promo. It's not a great looking army builder carrier. The set, if they actually released it, would probably have, like, like best case, a jar, like, well, best case would be Boss Nass, but they probably wouldn't do it. So it'd be a Jar Jar and maybe like a Gungan Warrior or uh um is it Tar chief tarples is that the the gungan guy and then there's like 30 quid and then it looks terrible so it's like well yeah it doesn't need to be released after actually it doesn't need that at all cool that goes there Mirror of this. <clears throat> uh, I'm conflicted on the droid carry gift for purchase, trying to decide if going for it is worth it to me. The only reason I am going for it is because because I want the, I want a lot of the episode one sets. I'll be honest. Like, I just think they look really good. Uh, this year, I've got like, actually, to be fair, probably two or two years ago, I really found like a new appreciation for the Phantom Menace. Like, I actually quite enjoy it. Um, <clears throat> and then we, what, uh, like me, Sam, and Rosie rewatched a load of them a little while ago. And oh, it was probably like last year, maybe beginning of last year. And, like, I really, really enjoyed it again when I watched it. I've watched it since. Like, I just... I do very much enjoy the film. Um, so, yeah, we will... So, I want to get the droid car. I want to get that. And then, the, because the... I think... It's, wait, did Brooklyn say... I think the, the Sith Infiltrator might be an exclusive somewhere to a store. And then the... The Invisible Hand is like a entertainer exclusive or something in the UK, which is just like never going to go on sale. So I'm like, right, okay. Um, so like double VIP plus the promo, selling the promo is probably, uh, the promo, should I say, is probably going to be just about worth it. <clears throat> I think I'll just get the Cody Brickheads. I only want half the Phantom Menace ones. Yeah, I think I'm going to try and maybe sell the um i i basically just want more i may keep amadala because she looks really cool but um but sh like i think i could probably sell amadala and jar jar on their own in which case then it, if i can yeah if i can sell them for a little bit um but I think I, I think I may get I think I may I actually I think I may be going for two promos only because I want to invest in the invisible hand. And I think this is probably one of the better times to do that. Just because of the it being a a store exclusive to the entertainer in the UK. So it's like never gonna go on sale. So like ten percent off plus the promos is, is is probably the best I'm gonna get on it. Um we'll see a bit closer to the time with, with money and stuff, but Oh yeah, don't forget the commemorative exclusive Super Duper Yarm 4 coin, yeah. How much is the, um, the, like, Rex badge? Wait, we, what, how much is the Death, did we get a Death Star coin last year? How much is that fetching on the aftermarket? Can anyone have a look on eBay? Okay. So, we've got our borders. Hey, stud, how you doing? The Amidala brickhead does look good. Yeah, I just don't collect brickheads. 
The only reason why I want it is because I'm a Darth Maul fan. I collect all the Darth Maul stuff, so that's why I want that. But the Amidala Brickhead looks great. So does Jar Jar, to be fair. I mean, I, all of them look good. Um, I think the um, the Captain... Is it Captain Panaka? It was a bit of a bit of a strange one to throw in there. I think it probably could have been a five Brickhead set and it would have been just as good, but... I'll probably end up parting the other ones that I don't sell out. Um, but and there's some cool gold pieces on there anyway, so. Okay. So, that's all the borders done. Oh, wait, no, I need to put the tiles on. Please say I have them here. Okay, they're probably in that big old box of tan parts. Do I dare look in it? Because that box looks like it's about to fall apart. Sod it, would it? Never mind. I get sorted. I'll be right back. Okay. There are a few sold for £10. Okay, absolutely not worth keeping hold of that then. <laughs> um, Alright, let me catch up with chat. I think I'm going to get the tie all th uh, and all the Moody Scale ships. Nice. And an ATT if they have any. Cool, cool. Or maybe not because they're usually on sale elsewhere. Yeah, I would possibly... I mean, I don't know what it's been like in the US, but yeah, I would maybe try to look elsewhere for that one. I just get the Cody Brink heads, yeah. It's so funny that for the 25th anniversary of Lego Star Wars, they're doing a remake of a 23-year-old set, yeah. Yeah, the droidical is great. It's my second favourite film now, probably. A fair play, sound fair, yeah. I, it's right up there for me. Enjoy the Phantom Minute. You said I like it, Jar Jar, betcha, betcha. I, I, I do like a bit of Jar Jar Binks. I think he's quite funny. Pass me a Star Wars May 4th is met me to be fair. Fair enough, KO. Uh, hand is exclusive to Target in the US. Okay, so at least you've got like a chance of uh, the Invisible Hand going on sale maybe in Target, right? Or they do that like cashback thing, I think. Only saying getting me first for sure is Invisible Hand. Yeah, I think it's worth it for Maul, Jar Jar and Amidala. I'll probably use the rest for pieces. Uh, lots of something. That yeah, that's true. Probably not even worth the postage. <laughs> That's like it's 15 on first. Yeah. I don't collect brickheads either. Only a few I've made myself. Um, like garbage bell kids, yeah. Uh, but the Amidala and Maul look great. They do, yeah. No rebel here. What you're going to take. Thanks for keeping an eye on things, KO. Hey, Polar Bricks and Grinding as well. Good to see you guys. Welcome on in. Yeah, we're just talking all the um, all the May 4th. Is, are they coming out May 1st or May 4th? <clears throat> okay. 
Right, so we've got those borders done. Now... I need to see how many... How many studs did each of those take up? Was it six? The first one is six. Okay. So... So I basically just need to take off six studs at the back, which... This can be a lot of tiling. I've got to do two of these. So. This all out the back. So that's where the Beggar's Canyon rock stuff is going to go. Does it need to be that big? Hang on, let's. Oops. Try and put this back on a stand. I think we could probably just to save on some of the tar, like it's oh god. It's still not even like over the edge. Like you can see that a bit better. Like if the rock works there. Do you reckon we try like creep it forward a bit? Because this is gonna be at an angle as well. No, no, I'll keep it. I'll keep it like that. Right, I'm going to take this off the stand because I keep breaking it. Um, let's pop that over there. A couple of those engine pieces come off. Put them in there. Okay. May 1st to May 5th. Okay. How quickly do we reckon the promo is going to sell out? Really loving the buildable droid cut, and I'd likely have a suitable replacement for the wonky... Um, MFS one included in the set. Wait, the wonky MFS? What am I missing there on the back section? Come on. So great. Um Yeah, I'll keep okay, I'll keep that, so that's fine. So what's the biggest template I've got? I've got some I've got tons of six by six, so I'm thinking maybe I make out a six foot. I've got blue filler plate though. Let me grab that. Okay. So how big sections do I should I should I make each base plate into four? Or hmm. Four be enough, do you think? Where's these? Or maybe I do no maybe I do maybe I'll just split it down the middle. Maybe down the yeah yeah I think I'll split it down the middle I'll be fine. Oh wait sorry 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 minifig scale thank you Sam. I uh, really love the beautiful joy I like to have a super replacement for the walking minifig scale one including the set. I love your uh your droid decor as it is grinding I think it's really really good. Fair play if you can improve it even more but it's very very good. Doing good I uh, got a day off before I leave for a flight in fourteen days. Workshop up north, nice, nice. I know I want the promo, but I don't have a clue what I'm gonna buy for it yet. Fair. What is there any reason in particular that you want the promo, Sam? Is there any like just to just as a collector to, to have it or Okay, what well, see how many I need to make this. So it needs to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven by seven by four. Right? Yeah. Yeah, seven by four works. Cool.
But yeah, I think that's that's it for the May 4th stuff. I think that's... I think that'll be a good haul. Like I said, I'll get the invisible hand. I, I, so I'm going to do an order the night before to get a couple of invisible hands. Try and get those. Um, six. And then... Yeah, and then I'm going to go to the Lego store with Sam. We're going to meet up. Me, Sam, and Penelope. And anyone else who wants to come down to Southampton on, on the 1st. Um... Because the first falls on a Wednesday, which is nice. And then I'm going to come home, um, build some of the sets. Um, Sam, if you want to, if you want to join me, you are more than welcome to. Uh, and then uh, I know I'll probably stream about like six ish, maybe like five, six ish, um, before Mockheads, because Mockheads is on that evening. So I stream before that. That'll be fun. Okay. One six by six. Yeah, that sounds fun. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, mini fuse scale, mini fuse scale. Uh, the one beside the display pack, including the set, doesn't. Yeah, it certainly doesn't. It really doesn't. I'm going to. Uh, so there's a video that I want to do. Um, that's like, basically, I'm going to go through my droid army and be like, no, that's not good enough. I want to make it completely mini fig scale, and I want to. Yeah, I just want to completely redo my my droid army so i'm basically going to go through the sets is there any sets at mini this is a good question actually for for some of you guys so do you think there's any minifigure scale sets in a droid army that are actually worth keeping i can think of one i can think of one and i've got three of them which i'm really happy about <laughs> Same for me, uh, Droidica for sure, but don't know what yet to get to fill the rest, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's not tons of obviously, I, I may, see the thing is I may get that Keller and Beck set, but 25 quid for basically a Keller and Beck figure, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I can stomach that, so I'm going to try hold out on that one if I can, because you know that'll be like a 2 for 30 set in in Argos in time and I'll be like oh well yeah I could get that and like maybe the droid battle pack at that point or something and then that's like quite good good for 30 pound okay first panel section down this big um I haven't quite decided what I'm doing with how I'm going to attach the honestly I made it would be really cheating of me I may like slim this down because I like how on this um the stand you can like change its posability um so i may like i may use but basically just rob this feature and have this stood up and then have it if i have it that way you might hardly see it and because it'll be attached down it won't need all of these extra supports so i may like try and minimalize this a bit and then just plonk that on top oh well, what are you doing with all those invisible hands investment investment jake they're going to be a sound investment i know they've only just come out this year but it's going to be the best uh, best chance for me to get a get a good deal on them. I think uh, the Tri Fighters are pretty much the only one on actual scale. Are the Droid gunships? That's that's my that's my uh, that's my one that I'm like. Ugh, I don't think this needs improving. Like like th th there may be like some tweaks, but I just I I think the. Uh, I'm really, really happy with how that set looks. It's made. What is it? Maybe like is the droid uh, gunship like a maybe a fraction too small? But yeah, I just feel like that one. I'm like, I'm really happy with with how that looks um, and 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 kind of how it scales. So. Yeah, the 2019 Droid Gunship is a top tier playset. It's very, very good. Yeah, I think I've got, th I think I've got three of them. 
I'm still here, just prepping for Redin. Hi, or uh, that I haven't said hi to yet. Hello, Mark. How is your uh, how are your habitats coming along, Mark? Hope they hope they're doing good. I realized at this rate, I'm probably not going to get on to uh, to Jewel of the Fates tonight. I may do a I may do a bonus road to reading i may i may change my saturday stream at the weekend from a member stream to a public uh road to reading bonus episode and then maybe do a member stream on on sunday or something to to like make up for it <clears throat> is that the one that yes it is gaz yes i'm just hoping beck becomes a magazine yeah honestly sam yeah I I don't know if they would allow that purely because then that set is so undesirable. Like like nobody buys that set after it comes in a magazine. Like <laughs> Don't forget the clone troopers and the lamp post. Yeah, just just not keen for it, guys. I just like who needs it? Another oversized speeder. I don't need any more five of first troopers. As it is, I'm thinking of selling some. Like, I just really don't need. And then, and, and the ones I'm selling are non-helmet hole ones. Come on. Like, do we do we really need more five of first troopers? Oh, I send you a preview. Okay, cool. I'm looking forward to seeing that, Mark. Okay, so two more of these and then we can start tiling them. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough tiles. I've just clocked that, lol. That's a very good point. I'm really not gonna have that many tiles, am I? Hmm. 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 Maybe I who think i get away with doing them on because what is it is it three 32 base plates make up two of these do you reckon i'd get away oh, i don't know if i'd have enough room with what's so six six twelve eighteen twenty four uh thirty thirty two there goes an engine nice yeah, that's going to be too tight, I think. That really would be flying off the mock, and I don't think that would look very good. Hmm. This might be... Uh, the proportions to like of studs to... Studs to uh, tiles on this one is going to be... Yeah. There won't be many tiles. Okay. I've got one of the tri fighters. Go back to the droid, droid army thing. Uh, yeah, I've got one of the tri fighters, but I think I will probably make or like build a custom couple of those, maybe. But basically, like if if I don't if I don't keep it in the army, then I basically am I'm gonna like force myself to to sell it. Sell it or like repurpose it. If like if there's enough pieces in it to make it worth like parting out to then build the custom one, then I'll do that. But yeah, it's uh Is the HMP the, the, the gunship? I think it is, right? 
really, <laughs> really not with my acronyms today. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing that mark. Should be good. Send. Okay, let's have a look. Ooh. That looks really cool, Mark. That looks really cool. <laughs> I like that a lot. Nice, dude. Oh, I can't wait to see those all together at the convention. That's going to be great. <clears throat> Ten of them. Damn. Let's go. Are you uh, are you building any on Twitch on Sunday? Is that what you'll be? Because I know you're building your. Was it the last Animal Crossing set that you had to build on uh, on Sunday? Um, but I'm uh, again going back to that droid video. I'm waiting on the uh, the is it the mini fit guy, the mini kit guy, to release his CIS um, MTT. Because that's going to be like the centerpiece. I've decided I'm going to have a go at... So I was, I was working on... Uh, it's actually a members series at the moment. Um, I say it like it's been going a while. I've done one episode. Uh, I was going to modify... Um, two Bricks um, AAT mod. He, he modified the 2020 set. And then I was going to modify that. Um, but I think I'm going to have a go at design of my own. Purely because I kind of want to have... I want to have a Clone Wars one. And a lot of the CIS versions are all just like the, the live action model. But kind of recolored. And so I kind of want to have a go at making like a, a, a cartoony... Uh, or like an animated style, um, an animated style one. Does that is that necessary? How much? That does make that quite a bit sturdier, and we do have a lot of blue parts. And then that would make that. Wait, if that's going to have one more plate on top of that. That goes on there. And then we got. Would that be. That would be flush with that. So then it'll be a three bricks on a plate. Yeah, we'll do it. I have so many of these blue plates from the Scarif. Oh, I still need to do one more. Oh, I could have loads, it's fine. So I gotta remember, this isn't just going to Reading. I, I am also taking this to uh, to Chicago. By which point I may have get some more. I might try to get some more tile. Oh god. Oh, I have it to work Sunday, so uh, I thought I might have had to. Oh yeah, that's a shame, dude. Uh, I was. I now have all of them, mainly for the figs. Those are playing an important part. Yeah, for sure stuff man i built thomas jenkins tri-fighter it's bloody brilliant don't know uh if i'd build multiple of that one though expensive models to build lots of right okay fair yeah I, hmm. I guess no i guess i guess one tri-droid and like maybe two vulture droids 
because otherwise I'm not going to have much like air infiltrate. I definitely want a couple of ultra droids because they're like the more iconic, iconic one. <laughs> no money. Yeah, is this your first uh, like thing that's not done with mini dolls, Mark? Okay, that's. I mean, it's got flex in it, but that's pretty sturdy. I like that. Um, do I put? Okay, we happy with that. We are happy with that. There's one. Oh, and they're gonna fit in that box too. Oh, this is so convenient. First display without them. Wow. Excited stuff. Yeah, I shouldn't, because unless I do water again, I really shouldn't need a lot of these blue plates. I should have fill plate sorted for a good while. And also tan. <laughs> I can't imagine I'll be revisiting a tan mock anytime soon. I mean, th yes, of course, Paige, every mock I do from now on is going to be tan because I've got all the parts and then I wouldn't need to spend any money. Okay, one more. I really don't know what to do about the tile now, though. Hmm. <laughs> Break some pieces. I may end up robbing some of the ones that I've done. I should really just use the hut flats parts. Jumok next. Honestly, Sam, I could be tempted. I very much enjoyed that first, uh, uh, the first one. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't rule out. And I really want the ornithopter. I think it looks so cool. What it needs... Oh, God. Uh, I've not seen the second one still, no. I, I just haven't had a chance yet. I, I've not seen... Uh, to be honest, if I don't see the Godzilla film in cinemas, I'm not that fast. I would like to see Dune at the cinema, though. Uh, Vulture droids are great, I think, but they're used in space and uh, atmosphere battles. Lots of versatility for mocks compared to a tri fighter. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's completely fair going in, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, what is it? Seven. Yeah. yeah, so definitely a couple of Vulture droids. Maybe one tri droid then. And then. Yeah, it's all a cheap video, that's for sure. But yeah, MTT, maybe like, I'm going to try make my AAT like quite affordable. Um, so like, I would want to do at least two AATs, if not, maybe one more. Dune release it. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I will prioritize Dune. Is it Dune, June? What, what, what is it? How many base plates would you need to create the scene with multiple order that to take it? Oh, dude. Honestly, that would be so <laughs> just that would be such a great collab. Is you basically all bring two grey base plates of just tan mix of plate and tile. And then uh and then you all bring an ornithopter and then we just rock that up at a show. Like, come on now, that does that not sound like a good idea? A 
Everything in June is just so freaking big, though. Um, like the worm, massive. <laughs> the base, massive. That tank thing, that massive. I haven't, Andy. No, but uh, I've heard it's very, very good. I decided to stop with one of the mosaics now as I'm happy with it. Good. Good stuff. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I might do mine as like a... If it, has anyone seen those videos on TikTok where it's like... Uh, doing such and such for... For every follower I get or something. And mo mo most people are doing like exercise. And then I'm going to do like Adam the mosaic tile for every follower I get. I'll be honest, I didn't think I'd use up all these 6x6 plates, but I'm getting pretty pretty damn close. Oh, okay, sound started it last night. I couldn't get into Fallout, so episode 1 last night and didn't do it for me. I started it last night. Yeah, we binged it over the weekend, Andy. It was awesome. Oh, interesting. So faithful to the game. Yeah, I've not played the game, so... I binge watched it over the last two days. It's pretty good. Not that I know the game. Yeah. Same with like, like I never watched The Last of Us, nor did I play that. I, I just don't watch anything. Still got the uh, the Master of the Air to watch. I've got to watch that before Ju like June, as in the month. Because that's what my. Apple TV subscription ends. Although I should I should be able to get another one because I bought an Apple Watch fairly recently. So just keep just keep three month trial in it. It's got lots of Lego potential. Interesting. They like I can't oh have I done I've done a whole row too many. You can take that back on those six by six plates being all used up. Uh that's all I can ever think about when I watch stuff now. And it's so stupid. I just can't seem to enjoy anything without going like, oh, that would be it. That would be cool for Mox. No way Lego would release it too much by GFA. But yeah, that's that's all I, like, when I was watching June, I was like, oh, that would be cool, Lego. That would be cool in Lego. The owner thought that looks really cool. Can't wait to get that in Lego. Lego is taken over my life oh damn my apple tv needs to be paid for from the end of the week i best finish it yeah <laughs> ain't nobody got time for for paying for apple tv cool okay he's back okay yeah i'm really not sure what to do with the whole like tiling thing now so we may we may go to jewel of the fates and then see what see what I come up with and then I think I'll do another episodes get into the Lego yeah honestly it just just takes over your life doesn't it um okay so that'll basically be on there hopefully I've got enough of the jumper tiles I mean I mean, well, yeah. I may not worry about the jumper tiles on the edge of there, actually. Because then I can just put three bricks. Is that three bricks then? Yeah, then I can just put three brick supports under there, and that's absolutely fine. And then... Yeah, as long as I just make the back section be able to be taken off, then that'll be fine, right? Okay. 
Well, for a sec. Yeah, I really don't know what to do about these tiles now. Okay, we'll put this to one side. Because I, re I, I really don't just want a whole plate of random tiles. Like, of, of, of all studs. Um, that I wouldn't be happy with. I might have to take out some of the sections of the pod race. Oh, yeah, there should be enough on the, like, the hut flats to... Yeah, that might all have been for for no reason whatsoever, but hey how eh? Oh did I rip up a two by six plate? Oh man. That's wrong. Oh my days, I'm just breaking everything. Right. Hang on there. We need that. Yeah, that might have mostly been for nothing, but this is a front one. Okay. I will need something to go in there, won't I? If nothing else, but just to make that more sturdy. I may just run a tower of bricks along there on the day or something. That's one base plate. I'll just grab another base plate. This one, this is the front one. That one there. Yeah, honestly, I might not even worry about like flat packing this. I think I'd just be able to almost like take that as a mills plate and then just have the back sections come off. And then I'll just put some supports along there because like that's not going to take up any room at all. So that's fine. Okay, let's see what state do all of the faces in. So uh, is it habitats replacing? Cap yes. Yeah, I'm looking for. Like I said, I'm looking forward to seeing these. Right, where's the wood? It's gone. That's oh, right underneath. The one. I can't remember what state this is in or or how much of the lighting was actually done it's it's not the like greatest to travel but it's also not like horrific Like these, uh, these transport bits are always going to be a nightmare. Um, I've also got an updated Qui-Gon figure now from, or I will have from the 
Oh no, that's going to be after Reading, isn't it? I need to find out where the Qui Gon. I need to find out where that went. Okay, so yeah, this is the platform. Looks convention ready, honestly. Okay. So. I would get a little time lapse of this because I am doing a video at some point. Where's my little tripod gone? Hmm. I'm eventually going to do a video. Finishing mocks that I, or like completing mocks I never finished or something. The irony of you not being able to finish that video, honestly. I can't finish any video. Blimey, this is a blast from the past. Honestly, Mark, it, I think it's like the longest, mo like, I say completed. Um, or finished. This is a terrible angle. Would it be better if it was just a fixed angle? This one I did in... Sam, when did we do the lightsaber duels one? <laughs> this is complete for when... It, it, yeah. yeah, it is, Simon. Don't you know it? Don't you know it? I'm going to take all these off because I can't actually... I need to make those specific. This must have been what, like 2022? Or yeah, January 2023, yeah. Okay. I feel like I did get this set up once. Like, I, in fact, yeah, I got it ready for, for Digcop, but like we just ran out of room. This needs to pop those up. That cable just needs to run out of the back. I thought I had something in the middle there, but maybe I didn't. There's also one pink brick short. Uh, actually. God, this is a one mess, isn't it? All right. I can't remember how tall this was meant to be. Hang on. Great start, Thomas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. So seven would be right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that, okay, so that's right. Okay, so that's tall enough. So that goes on there. That wire goes out there. That's enough for the. So the. Right, he says. The problem. Wait, where's the. I had a second light strip that went upwards. Where's that gone? <laughs> Welp. 
that was the second light strip that did the top half. Oh my days. What was that? Did I just have this like halfway? Surely I didn't just have that like halfway up because there's a whole. I definitely bought two. I definitely bought two. There's a box here, did I? Put some of it away. I, I have literally no clue if I can't find this other light if it's not in here. Because I think, yeah, these are all, they're all um, game of bricks. And this was light my bricks. What a, sh what a disaster. Was it the British? Yeah, it was at the London one. Uh, you displayed it at Bournemouth. Did, uh, did I get it out of Bournemouth? Okay. Um, did I? Maybe I did. Maybe I did. Yeah, I think I did, actually. Oh, I'm so annoyed. <laughs> oh, come on. Ugh. I, th th it could, that light could literally be anywhere. Like, literally anywhere. You definitely bought it, but I can't remember if it came out of the box, yeah. Well. Ugh. Oh, that's so annoying. Wait, there's not. No, that's the. Yeah, because there was. Yeah, because I bought. Because there was one, two, three, four, five, six. Because there was only a. There was a five port cable that if I only had one would have been enough. Or like a five board. But I had to buy the. What, eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I had to buy the eight. Maybe it's six. Maybe six would have been enough. Oh, I'm so confused. I just, I thought it would have been in. In fact, it probably did come to uh, to Bournemouth because it's with the Mickey and Donald and Stitch that I also took. But yeah, God only knows where where that light where that light is. Hmm. <laughs> Well, this has been another disaster. Shock. Right, let's... Oops. Okay, so that fits on there. We'll ignore the fact that that one's smaller than the rest of them. infuriating well what we'll do for now is we'll just flip it upside down and we'll make this the top the top section just hope it fits And then at least the top section's lit up and hopefully I'll be able to find the other one before the convention. Okay, what's up with it? Did you send us pics for mock heads? Can you see? Uh, no, getting it together is like really quite easy. I'll be honest. I just can't find the, uh, the this, I bought two light tubes and uh or like two two other led light things i think it's like the yoda's lightsaber or something from the from the buildable character from light my bricks um 
You've lost. I've lost one of the lights, Tommy. I'm having a. Oh, I definitely ordered two. I definitely ordered two, and I'm. I had two ready for Digcar as well. That just goes on there. I'd say this is still like. That's upside down. I am still, regardless, very happy with this monk. Even though he's made a massive boob of it here. Funny how it's like, I know! I know, I just expected it all to be in the box. I need to have a look at where the, um... And that just sits on... That's in the center there. That sits on there. And these have fallen off the side somewhere. It's like here. I should have done this before. I... Bollocks. We need a t-shirt with old Thomas and a face palm emoji. We actually do. Wait, I need to move it out of it further? What do you mean? on there that one's on there it looks like I'm also missing okay there's definitely more to this mock somewhere because we're quite a few of those side pieces missing so that's another job for me Tech time for a tech fan uh, catchphrase on since he's there. You and Mark are so similar. KO. Okay, well, do we even have a USB? Oh, let me go get the battery pack. Hopefully, we can at least get it lit up. It half lit up. Now I can't find my battery pack. God help me. Okay, wait, hang on. Okay, I found the lights to Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon's lightsabers. That's a good sign, I think, right? I guess not if it doesn't have Still no sign of the other one. Oh, why me? I found the two lightsabers for Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan. <laughs> Paige to the rescue. Paige is sound asleep. She wants nothing to do with this drama. Oh, 
I I literally moved my power bank the other day and I can't for the life of me remember where. Let's see if we can still. There's got to be another box with other parts to this mock in because I'm still missing some of the side sections as well. <laughs> Honestly, who lose the rest of his body if it wasn't attacked? I hate that you're not wrong. in this USB. This is this is fantastic. Oh Got a USB socket there that's not long enough to get to the mock. I've got I don't have I don't even have a spare one in the in the laptop adapter. There's not one in there, is there? No. Urgh. Think Thomas, think. What would where would Thomas have put his portable charger? Now in the electric like in the electrics box would have been a sensible place. So it's probably not there. Grr. Grr. Guys, can you at least like the stream to make me feel a little bit better about myself, please? I will find this. I will get this lit up. It's got to be here somewhere, hasn't it?
I have no clue where my power bank is even. I literally moved it the other day. This is so annoying. I am. Um, hey, Trevor. How you doing? I bet you put them somewhere safe. You know, somewhere <laughs> that past Thomas knew future Thomas would be able to find it easy. Exactly. Oh, I'll put that there because then I can I'll know to charge it Okay, well, I think that this <laughs> God help me Guys if I don't show it to Reading, it's because I've given up Lego I've had enough This is the Penelope stuff Okay well, I think. <gasps> Hold on. Is it charged? Probably not, but that's not the point. That we can change. I think. Okay, not with that. We can't. But we 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 can get this charged. This is okay. Hang on. Okay, now if the stream goes down, we, we have to, oh, it was on the floor, it was on the floor. Hey Trevor, how you doing? Sorry I'm having a bit of a meltdown at the minute. Um, I, good God, I hope this works. Past Thomas may have been mistaken, yeah. Well, I'll take looks for USB as fair parts, I'm going to take the bins out fair, Simon, fair. Oh, God. Do they? Okay, cool. I, I, I do need to go. So this one has been good. I bought one before and it wasn't very good. Uh, oh, wait, no. Is it this one? No, this one's not been great. It's it's meant to have the, like, the contact, like, the... You just, like, pop your phone on it to charge. But it doesn't really... It doesn't seem to work on my last phone. Where's the light? gone. Okay. I just gotta let that charge up a bit. And then... Hopefully... Hopefully that'll work. Um, what I'll do, we'll switch over to face cam. And then hopefully, will I be able to lift it up enough? Maybe. Should be able to. So let me see if it, oh, you guys can't, can't see. We'll, don't want to spoil the reveal, do we? Okay, that's better. No, no worries, Trevor. I'm. I've been trying to find my. Um... Okay, well, this isn't a good sign. My, I was trying to find my power bank. I've, I've had a, I've had a catastrophe basically. So I set out to tile the whole of the sand for the Beggars Canyon part of my mock. Realized I have very minimal tile left, uh, cause pod racer, and then I moved over to Duel of the Fates, uh, and I wanted to get the light kit sorted. I've lost one of the lights. I've also lost a lot of the edging around the the border of of the mock. Which again, hopefully, if I find that, I find the other light. Not the end of the world. We'll move on. And then I tried to find my power bank to to uh, to get the mock lit up. So at least I could show you what the mock look like looks like lit up. But alas, this. Either isn't charging, doesn't want to charge. I mean, that says it's on, but the light begs to differ. Oh, no, the sides are coming off. Disaster, really. I'm curious to know if this is the power bank that's now not. Now not working, does it? Probably not. 
Well, folks, it's been a blast. Uh, no, I don't have enough. Uh, oh, okay, so that's charging my phone. So, so it's it's the lights. Oh God. Um, but no, I don't have a USB in my Mac, and all, all, all my other ones are taken because of cameras um, and microphones and stuff. And I don't think it would reach because there's not enough, and it's stuck to the back of the table. This is this is just fun. Okay, so the power bank works, the lights do not. Why me? Why me? You know, once upon a time this mod actually looked good. Well, right, you can go back on, we'll go back on to... Thank you, oh, we don't need Donald's hand. We'll switch this back over and see if we can work out why this isn't. Right, so this can come off. This can come off. And these can come off. Probably should have tested the lights before I actually uh, put it on there. But that's that's by the by. Does, does the lights work if I just plug it into the wall? Hang on. Oh, that, okay. So we have lights if it's plugged into the wall. Which is something, right? Okay, so the lights do work. But for some reason, it maybe there's just not enough power in my power bank at the minute maybe it needs to charge a bit more it is probably it is pretty dead i think so we'll we'll leave the power bank on charge i'm just gonna have a look in one place for the other parts to this let me They weren't where I hoped. Ugh. <sighs> yeah, they do actually. The the lights actually. I don't know if you can. Right. You, yeah, you can. You can. Kind of see in the back. Like they they're strong lights. They're very powerful. When they work. I'm just so annoyed. I'm just, I thought everything was in that drawer. Because I had it in a box for Bournemouth. All together. That I had in a box from Digcot. It was all together. And... I just... Trans I needed the box. So I transferred everything into a drawer. But now... Now it's not in the drawer. This is... And now I'm, like, chunks of these missing, which is also very annoying. <laughs> oh, I've got some serious tidying to do. And rummaging. I was going to say, over the next few days, realistically, I need to get it done tonight. I 
need to find these lights. So I don't think like my bricks would get another one in time. Uh, my stop motion build of the red telephone London box is due out soon. Oh, I'm looking forward to that, Trevor. These things do try us, but persevere, mate. It'll be worth it. God, I hope so. Okay, well, that's like... Uh, it will be really annoying, but it also wouldn't be the complete end of the world if it was just the top. Um, hi, Jeff Carrier's run off to the theatre and I all order waffles, so all is good here. Nice. Nice. Um, yeah, I'm like, it wouldn't be the end of the world. It would look a bit crap, I'll be honest, but I also just have one orange one as if like, I must have clearly ran out. Of pink ones and then just forgot to order one. Um, oh, I really don't know what to do now. Okay, well. Uh, it's a uh, a pink two by two round brick, like a trans. Is that trans dark pink? Maybe. Uh, that's Moore's. Uh, there's Moore's lightsaber. That's also lit up. So that also lights up. I did find uh, the uh, the Qui Gon and Obi Wan lightsaber as well, which is good because I definitely wouldn't have been able to find those again. So I'm gonna plug those in just so I can. But this is also fiddly, like I don't know how I ever got this in. My fat fingers aren't. Also like, how do you know which way around it goes? Does it have a specific way around? Oh no, there we go. Okay. That's in. Cool. Take mocks that are already pretty much built, he said. It'll be stress-free, he said. I I think at this point, I just... I've come to the conclusion that I will never have a stress-free convention. Never. Okay, right, they're all plugged in. Thank you, Mark. They're all... All the lightsabers do light up, so that's good. And that top one, that light does as well. I, oh, I'm convinced I ordered two. Oh, you have three of them. Perfect. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate that, mate. Um, okay, that's something at least. Well... I think because I don't know what else to do, I can't quite bring myself to repair the X-Wing again because I don't have a box to put it in. Therefore, I'll just end up breaking it again before next week. Okay, what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to go and look for these lights or that light um, and those other parts to this build. It's got to be in a box somewhere. I have to find them. Um, and then I think I'll do another episode on Saturday and then another episode on Tuesday. And literally, I re I pray to God that Tuesday is just like packing the mock, essentially. I, I want to show you everyone what I've got. And then, um, and then, yeah. And then that'll be it, hopefully. But yeah, otherwise, I just don't know. Don't know where else to, to look right now, but... Uh, what uh, part of like slide my bricks bit? No, it's a. I think it was like either Yoda's lightsaber. It's like the uh, I can't remember. Is it like a twenty-two centimeter brick? I I could look at ordering. I, I'll have a look in a minute, like how much another one is and how quick it would get here. 
Um, but it is annoying because I know I did have... I know I did have one. Or another one. Um, but this is certainly motivation to get this area completely sorted and organized and tidied. Now I've completely finished my uh, first mosaic mock with frame and Technic pins, which makes the total piece count of 6,603. Damn, dude. Damn. That's a big old mosaic. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I will. Okay, I'll have a look at it. Okay, guys. Well, thank you all for hanging out this evening. Sorry that didn't... Go Sorry I didn't get... I, w I really wanted this done and I wanted most of that tiled. Um... But yeah, hopefully we have solutions by Saturday. Uh, and on Saturday, we will we'll hopefully be in a lot better spot. Um, but yeah, I will, I'll probably stream about like 8, so maybe like 7, 8 p.m. on Saturday. Um, I will move the members sort it out stream to Sunday, probably Sunday afternoon, maybe after um, or before the brick bods or something. Uh, tune in Saturday for another tech crisis. Absolutely. Oh, man. Okay. Well, catch you guys all. Um, I'll see the members on uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm going to stream before Mockheads. Um, I'm going to do another studio session. I'm going to work on that AAT build. I may end up switching it and, and working on this if I can find some parts. But, um, yeah, I will I'll, I'll see you all when I next see you. Bye-bye, guys.